Okay, so I have been getting some requests on how I do my eye makeup. So I'm going to do a little tutorial for you, okay? Now, <laughs> this is my first tutorial. So first I'm going to start with my Benefit Stay Don't Stray um, eyeshadow primer. And I'm just going to put this all over my eyelid like that then blend it with my finger kind of like dabbing at it instead of rubbing just get that kind of up there too okay once you have that all over then <clears throat> I'm going to take my plain, boring eyeshadow brush and MAC Blanc type. Just get that all over the brush. And I start by putting it on my inner corner. You can't really see it because it's like white. See? But it's a nice matte white color that I put it up there a little bit. And I'm kind of avoiding my outer corner because that's where a different color is going to go. So once you get that all over, <laughs> on it. Um, then I'm going to take Hoax from Max. Mac. I think it's Hoax. Looks like this. It's kind of a rustic pink color. I'm using the same eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to start on my outer corner like this, kind of drawing an upward line on my outer corner. And I kind of blend it in like that. But I always start out and blend in. There's really no method to how I kind of apply this, but, and just kind of apply it until you feel it looks good on your eye, because everyone has different eye shapes, kind of, and kind of depending on where I'm going, I'll put on more or less. Depends on how I'm feeling. Taking a while. It's hard without a mirror. Okay. <laughs> um, now I'm going to take just, I mean, I honestly, oh, I don't have um, expensive MAC brushes. I really don't. I don't even know where I've acquired my brushes from, but I'm going to use this blending-ish brush and I'm going to take Trax from MAC which is almost the same color as Hoax only with some gold like sparkles in it and I'm going to just blend it into my crease like this I feel like there's more on my other eyelid. <laughs> um, and just make sure there's like a nice like line right there. Right here. I, just, I kind of almost make like a triangle I guess. Like, not a triangle, a half triangle, I don't know. <laughs> okay. And then I'm just going to take a little bit more blonde type and just kind of put it right there to make the contrast a little more. And I'm just going to blend it. Okay. Now I'm just going to use some of my Revlon Color State eyeliner and I'm going to put it in my upper waterline. 
and be careful not to like poke your eye out point the, point it up not like this point it up like this I just kind of go back and forth until I get it in there gosh this is really hard without a mirror I'm doing it on my computer but anyway Okay, and it just kind of, it helps your lashes look thicker and whatnot. And I take it on my inner corner. I kind of bring it out a little bit, like on my actual eyelid. I just kind of drag it up really close to my lashes. Like that, I think. Oh, eyeliner, eyeliner. Okay, now I'm going to take my Maybelline gel eyeliner. I got it at Target. It's super awesome. Um, it comes with this little brush, and I just dab it a little bit on to my brush. And I'm going to take this on my outer corner, starting out here. Start really slowly, really small. And blend it with the line you just made. Staying really close to your lash line. And putting on eyeliner can be tricky. Um, my um, advice is to kind of blink, go, blink, go. Because sometimes when you blink, when you're doing it, it goes like all the way up. And then you like ruin your eyeshadow. And then you cry. And then you ruin it even more. And then it's just a big mess. You know what I mean. And try to get it to match the other side. That's usually a good thing. And you can do the wing as big as you want it. I usually keep it fairly small. Um, shit, I don't think it's matching the other side. Oh, try to get it to match the other side as good as possible. Like, that is the idea here. You want both sides to match or else one eye is going to look strangely larger or strangely smaller than the other one. So, just kind of do this until you feel it looks good. And then I take it from about... Oh my gosh, do they even match? Good enough, and then take it from the bottom here, and I kind of drag it, see how I'm like blinking, kind of drag it down a little bit, and then my bottom lash line, kind of blend it maybe with your finger a little bit. I usually try to get the wing to go out all the way to where my eyeshadow kind of ends so that it looks like cohesive-ish. Okay, so once I'm done with that, um, a lot of the times I wear um, fake eyelashes because I find that they're easier than mascara sometimes, but not everyone does. But when I just wear mascara, I curl my eyelashes first. Are they in there? Curl them. Yay! Now I'm going to use my Urban Decay Eyelash Primer Potion, which is super awesome, especially when you have super short, wispy eyelashes like moi. Um, but when you're doing it, just, like, you have to remember to put on 
mascara when you're done because sometimes I've almost walked out the door for like forgetting to put it on because like I'll go get dressed or something um right after I put this on and like you can't really tell right now but it's it's white like it is white and I only put that on the top and I all I don't really wear bottom eyeliner if you didn't notice already <laughs> Okay, so once you get that all done, sometimes you kind of have to wait for it to dry a little bit. But since it's almost gone, it's pretty much dry. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Honestly, I haven't really met a mascara that I don't like. <laughs> they pretty much all do the same thing. And I just kind of wiggle it from the bottom to the top until I get my desired... Length. 